So when it comes to politics and the presidential race, does honesty matter? A pair of opinion pieces catching our eye. Each paints one of the front runners as a liar. This in the LA Times. All politicians bend the truth. All politicians spin the facts. But Donald Trump is mounting an audacious experiment in mendacity. How brazenly can a candidate lie and get away with it? Meanwhile, the Washington Post writes this of the Democratic frontrunner. With Clinton, there's no maybe. For whatever reason, she simply can't seem to stick to the truth, which at times needs neither embellishment nor denial. Here now, Nina Easton of Fortune Magazine and Fox News contributor. Christopher Bedford is also with us, editor-in-chief, the Daily Caller News Foundation. Welcome to both of you. Nina, you. The, the question is, do voters care? I mean, we've got two candidates here with very high, unfavorable ratings. They're going to have to make a choice. Do voters care about the honesty of the politicians who head toward the Oval Office? Well, the big um, test in this case is Donald Trump, because I think they do care when it comes to Hillary Clinton. But Donald Trump is really defying the rules once again on, on, the, on the honesty issues. So he, um, the biggest case, of course, was when he uh, posed as his own publicist many years ago. Uh, an audio tape came out about that. He's, he admitted that he, he had done this many years ago. Uh, now he's denying it. So that's the latest in a string of incidents that question his. Uh, his honesty. Nevertheless, it's not clear that people care. I mean, this is a guy who is, uh, came into this race as a reality show star, 23 million viewers. He hasn't been, and, and somebody is, that is known, by the way, also as a, as a you know, a, a great billionaire, uh, um, as someone who has his name on buildings and golf courses. He, he's been judged by different standards than most politicians, and he's been able to rise uh, beyond that. And it'll be interesting to see whether he can continue to do that. Christopher, you know, Hillary Clinton has her own issues, sniper fire in Bosnia, you name it. There have been issue, there have been moments in the past when she has bent the truth. So do voters care? Well, I think the difference is they're going to look at some of the motives and how people act. Donald Trump kind of reminds me of the high school friend who's incredibly overconfident. He's full of it, but he sounds like he really knows what he's talking about. When you finally call him on it, he says, yeah, yeah, you know, I just speak confidently. Whereas Hillary's been a little bit more sneaky, and she's really plotted this. Donald Trump doesn't have any documents written out by Ben Rhodes uh, after Benghazi on how to deceive the American people for her, own, her, uh, for her own benefit. Hillary Clinton has all these kind of things. Her dishonesty is more calculating and a little more just tested and planned. And I think that comes across in a way that people find a little more repulsive than they do Donald Trump's just brazen BSing. Yeah, I suppose, uh, Nina, you could, you could forgive Trump for posing as his own spokesman you know, in front of a, a media organization, uh, it's, it's not like lives were on the line. Um, are there levels of mendacity here? Yeah, but it's it's also pretty brazen. I mean, you have to admit. And I think um, I, I think what's interesting now is that the media, traditional media, which used to hold politicians to a standard and and would would you know point out when they were wrong on facts or they flip flopped or they were dishonest, um, that that has been. Uh, turned upside down by social media. So uh, Donald Trump has a base of, of Twitter followers, which is much larger than the base of, say, the New York Times readership or the Washington Post readership. And so he's an, he, the combination of Donald Trump's personality and his, his outsized personality and this, this disruption of traditional media makes it much harder to hold um, politicians to, a, to the traditional political standard. And, and Christopher, I come back to this time and again, but you know, Donald Donald Trump has been in people's living rooms on television for 20 years, and y you somehow wonder if they kind of accept or maybe expect some of this. I think they do. I mean, and people also don't really have a, have a very long memory. So Trump impersonating his PR spokeswoman, a spokesman to talk to a reporter 20 years ago may have been the biggest thing that happened in her year, but he might have forgotten about it. And to his fans, the fact that he is a brazen self-promoter who has that doesn't have a lot of respect for the press is, is certainly not news. And I don't think they're really going to react that much to it as far as Donald Trump goes. If it took 20, 20 Washington Post reporters to show that Donald Trump will promote himself and brag about women, well, that's a story we already knew. Well, it's, uh, it's going to be fascinating to see what the voters decide. Christopher Bedford, Nina Easton, thank you both.